But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh, pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Hey guys. Um, what's poppin'? If this is your first time here, then welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or just a, like a returning viewer, then hey gang, I fuck with you heavy. Okay, I know like like I'm in a completely different way to what I usually am because I'm usually playing dumb, stupid games. Cause you go, that's my thing. But um today's a different type of video. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's a solo thing. So um obviously all my day ones they're gonna fuck with this. Um, yeah, but this is just like a different type of video. It's a story time, and the reason I thought I should do it is just because I feel like I feel like you, a lot of you lot might think I'm I'm happy and I'm funny, and I am. Don't get me wrong, I'm a happy person, and I'm funny and I'm all about the bands, which is true. I'm all about the bands, but at the same time, you guys don't really know me, and it would be nice if you got to know me a little bit more, or at least got to know like um, what I've been through in life and just how I got to where I am today. Blah 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 blah. Do you know what I'm saying? And not everything that glitters is gold. Um, I feel like personally. I have a fuss, I have a I have an image that is very much like this like oh my god this sexy bad bee um who just doesn't give a fuck and is just I don't know just living life and having the time of our life do you know what I mean but you know I've I've been through some shit so anyway this is a story time and I'm shocked I'm doing this story time and the reason I'm shocked I'm doing this story time fam is because I never ever talk about my personal life if i talk about my personal life it will be about some waste man some some stupid boy some nigger that i dated literally like five six years ago ten years ago i never really talk about like the ones that um I actually liked didn't it or the ones that meant something to me. I would never do that. I'm a very loyal person, so I'm a very loyal bitch, so I, I always keep that stuff to myself. But the other day I just it just a penny dropped and I thought to myself, why the fuck am I being loyal loyal to certain men? Yeah? Certain men done me dirty. They're living their life, yeah, they're doing quarantine and both their thing. I'm by myself, but I'm being loyal to them. But this story is mad juicy, so I might as well, you know, get a story time out of it. That's what I thought to myself. What's the point of me being loyal to a nigga that's gonna marry another girl? Like, fuck him. On a real, fuck him. Might as well put on my channel and entertain someone, you know what I mean? Make someone chuckle. So you look and feel how, how I was buoyed. How I was so buoyed by this guy. Let me put some, more, let me put some lip gloss on. Extra juicy while I tell this story, extra juicy. Yeah, extra juicy, extra juicy, extra juicy. Oh yeah, why did I tell this motherfucking story, bitch? Okay, so where do we start? I'm gonna paint a picture for you. So, I pretty much have a really, like, a, a, if you don't, don't know, I'm a graphic designer, I have a really good job. Um, Yeah, I'm blessed in that category of life. Like, my nine to five is patterns. It's a good job. Um, I like get along with my boss. It's just it's just a good vibe in it. Sorry, but so cool. Um, so I just want to say, okay, cool. A couple years ago, two years ago, I'm a single woman. I've got a good job. I'm working. I'm I'm trying to make money. Whatever. Cool. Um. So. I would say I had been single. I don't want to say I'd been single because I, I hadn't. Okay, I had been single, single, like proper single, not seeing nobody for about um, maybe a year and a half, two years. Anyway, anyway, one day I'm scrolling on Instagram or whatever, and this um, very handsome guy. DMs me and is flirting with me and is talking to me. Initially, when he started talking to me, I wasn't in the right um, headspace, so I um, I wasn't that good at responding. Do you know what I do this a lot with people? 
I'm not a person that can fall for you because you've got good pictures or you're sexy. I have to meet you in person. And yeah, once I meet you in person, if the vibe's day, then I'm like locked in. But anyway, he was, he'd was he been messaging me and then like, um, I basically got to a place in my life where from when I was, from when me and my ex thing had ended, I took a really long time to be alone. So I'd been alone, like I hadn't dated or kissed anyone or had sex, I would say for a year and some change. So maybe a year and two months. So I'm like that. And then I said to myself, and I still wasn't over him, if I'm fully honest. And I just said to him, you know what? Maybe I actually need to put myself I told myself, I need to put myself out there, I need to go on dates, I actually need to try and meet somebody new. So, um, I can't just be sprung off one nigga for the, for the rest of my life, like I actually have to make an attempt and make the effort to meet someone else. So I thought, cool, you need to do that sis. So basically, cool, I thought I to, um, look like on my phone, look on Instagram, kind of just look at the people that had been hollering at me but that I wasn't really, really showing too much um, attention to. Because you never know. Because the thing is, with the person that I loved a couple years, like years and years ago, I'm going to call this person the most significant ex I've ever had. With my, the most significant ex I've ever motherfucking had. He was trying to chat to me for time as well. He was trying to chat to me for time. But with me, like I said, I'm a, I'm a feelings person, so I have to meet you in person. So it's only until I met him in person years later, because I was bored one day, that I thought, oh my God, you're the love of my life. I swear to God, within like a couple of, within one day, it was just the love of my life. So I thought to myself, let me go through my DMs. Whoever, whoever I've been airing, let me go on a date. I think I lined up three dates within two weeks. And just what happened, the last date who was with this guy, it was a good date. He picked me up from work. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this story. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna change some some details in it because I can't give it away. Do you get it? But I'm gonna change some details in it. So this guy is like the perfect guy, like tall, dark, handsome, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Um. He picked me up from work. I was wearing jeans and a little little top, a bit of cleavage. I look cute. He picked me up and um, let's just say, because I don't want to make it vape. Let's just say he picks me up in a Bentley because I don't want to bait it. If I say his actual whip, it's, it's on the same level as a Bentley. Let's just say that. He picked me up in a Bentley. Obviously, mama liked that. <laughs> Mama liked that. So yeah, he put me up in his Bentley or whatever. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is, obviously this is the lifestyle that I was born to live, period. Do you understand? Period. So I was feeling that he got out of the car. He was, have you ever seen them like men in the city and they're just wearing their suits and they look so good. They look so sexy. They just look so clean. He looked like that. He was, he was dressed in his, his business wear. And I just remember when we were having dinner, I was looking at him and thinking, oh what, my God, you are the perfect man. You are the perfect man, fam. Tall, dark, handsome, wearing a motherfucking suit, picking me up in a fucking Bentley. Are you fucking crazy? Oh, oh girl, I actually thought to myself, gold. Hmm. God, you have come through today. You have come through today because you have bought me a sweet one. That's what I was thinking. You bought me a sweet one. You bought me a proper one. This nigga is going to be my husband. Anyway, I was happy. So I'm going to give this guy a name. Obviously, to make it easier. I'm going to call him Bumba Club. Okay? Because that's what he was. So anyway, me and Bumba Club started seeing each other. I actually made him wait for the cookie. Do you know that? Oh, fuck, you know, I pick and choose where I make wait for the cookie, you know? Because when I really like someone and I want to sleep with them, I'll, I will make them wait. But the person I love the most ever in my entire life, I'm just going to call them that, the person, the, the love, I'm going to say the love of my life because that's the person I love the most. So the, the love of my life who I dated years ago, we, I, we didn't wait that long. I'm not gonna lie to you, Gemi. Like, I just thought this guy, 
I just felt this this electric energy like bro I couldn't wait I just wanted him to impregnate me you know what I'm saying but anyway let's go back to bumper club I made bumper club wait so a couple of dates in we finally did the thing um anyway <laughs> this is where it gets interesting bitch so everything is going amazing we're texting every day morning beautiful how are you baby oh my god I thought God had blessed me with my husband. Do you understand? I thought God had been with my motherfucking husband. Because let me tell you something, bitch. This nigga was texting me. Obviously, morning, babes. How are you? How's your day? I swear to God, if I had screenshots of the conversation, yo, the, the, this, this nigga, like, and me, like, the back and forth of fucking love heart emojis, fuck, you know. Oh my god, it was oh my god, babe, love heart. Oh, how you, how's your day, babe? Love heart. It was a love heart after love heart. Bear love heart. Bear love heart. He love bombed me. So motherfucking romantic. Oh, I never told you something else. Remember I said he's tall dark canton. He had he had bread, cool. Ticks every box, cool. He knew how to dress. He smelled nice. Oh motherfucking perfect man. And he was a gentleman. Bitch, this nigga opened doors for you. This nigga will never make you, because he used to go to his, he never make you wash a dish. Are you dumb? He would serve you. He was. Let me tell you something. When you meet a nigga like that, he's a motherfucking gallus. I'll tell you that for free. Don't ever fall for that shit. I learned the hard way. This nigga was the perfect motherfucking nigga. Opening doors for me. If a nigga opens doors for me, now I just look at him like, okay. Like, I'm not. You never fall for that shit. It's a fucking routine. Do you understand? It's a routine. Some niggas love it when they have bare bitches on them, bare girls on them. Don't fall for that shit. So anyway, even the Bentley, all of it, it's a routine. Every girl falls for it. Do you get it? What girl's not gonna fall for it? It's basically like a prince coming on a horse. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is where it gets interesting. So he happens to meet me a couple months before his birthday. So at this point we'd be talking for like two and a half months. It was bliss, it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying, it was sweet. And um, he told me his birthday is coming up and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna surprise him, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, oh my God. I was mad excited to do whatever I was gonna do for his birthday. Anyway now, anyway. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a, a wifey because I hadn't known him for that long. I didn't want to spend, because with me, I'm a very given person. Like I will spend two, three grand on my bait. I'm not lying to you. Like I will. Even if it means I put myself in a bit of debt or I, or I, I'm like, I have to like eat noodles, like Indomie for a month, I'll do it. Like I swear to God, I will, I love really hard. It's ridiculous. Like the guy that I love the most in the, like the most ever i swear to god i would have bought him a rolex <laughs> i would have that's what he doesn't understand anyway let's let's move on from him but the point is i'm very given yeah so i had to talk myself into not being given because not his girlfriend even though he 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 painted this picture like it was going there if you know what i mean he he definitely was like like i really like you and i wanted to go somewhere cool so I'm looking in Selfridges now and I've given myself a budget. So I said to I said to myself, let me take him dinner, let me take him hotel, you know, regular shit. And then we get then on top of that, let me get him a gift. But because I don't want to do too much, because you know when you do too much for a guy or you're too nice, you cook too much, before you get the title, it, it it's not good. Like I've I've heard that it's really, really bad to do that. Like you have to hold back, you have to know your value. Don't give the milk away for free, they say. So I think I gave myself a 300 pound budget. I'm like, I don't know what you can get in selfridges for free bills. Maybe like, what can you get? Like a, a belt? Yeah, I think I wanted something along them lines. It's only been two months. Like, a designer belt, calm. Let's not go over the top, you know? So, um, yeah, cool. His birthday comes. I, I, I'm planning it. I'm planning it. Then I go to link my man. This, this, is, this is really where it gets juicy. I go to link my man. why i go i go on his computer to order like um a takeaway and i saw bed tabs open now 
the motherfucking cheek, bitch. I saw bed tabs open now. On all these motherfucking tabs, yeah? It's all these motherfucking holiday destinations, bitch. All these romantic destinations, like you know, motherfucking Maldives, motherfucking seashells, motherfucking Bahamas, all this, all this nice shit. Dubai. So I'm thinking, mm, okay, we're going to the Maldives. Okay, interesting. Like I know it's your birthday, but. Babes, I have a job, you know what I'm saying? I work nine to five. You need to give me time to book off um, a couple of days so I can be with you on your birthday. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, I must have asked him. I was just like, what? Because it was bed tabs, yeah? I was like, babes. And he was like, yo. And I was just like, um, obviously I've come on your computer to order food, yeah, but you've got Bruh. bed tabs open with Bruh. holidays. And he was like, oh. And I was just like, are you going on holiday? And he goes, yeah. And I was like, oh, and he goes, I'm going for my birthday. And I was like, ah, okay. So I was like, who are you going with? Bruh. <laughs> who are you going on holiday with, bitch? I didn't say it like that. I was just like, because we hadn't really argued at that point. But I was like, who are you going with? And he basically said, I'm going with my brother and, um, I'm just looking at destinations but the thing that didn't make sense and i knew in my gut is that the holiday destinations were really romantic why would you want to go to your with your brother to the fucking maldives Bruh. but anyway he was just like nah 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 and I, I think i asked him that and then he was just like nah 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 that was for me and you babes that was for me and you babes isn't it he was like I, I wanted to take you um to that destination i want to take you to like the maldives and all that shit and i was like okay and i was thinking but you didn't ask me and it was like, i was just looking and i was thinking yeah but babe you have to tell me that like because your birthday his birthday wasn't that far away i was like you have to tell me what you're thinking so i can book the time off work and he was like yeah yeah, yeah i got you i'm just looking i'm just looking so then i think when i left him we had come to the conclusion that he was going to get back with me he was going to get back to me with dates specific dates that i should take off so we can go this motherfucking holiday you get me um but let's just be really 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 trill let's be really really honest that motherfucker was lying and i knew that motherfucker was lying and let's go back a bit i ain't told you obviously i told you it was bliss it was going well it was going amazing this nigga from the listen obviously i'm a cute babe isn't it and I'm a nice girl. So from the day he met me, this nigga told me I ain't allowed to see no other men. Yeah? He tried to lock it down with me. And I remember, like, when we were talking and, you know, we were texting, we was flirting. He basically was like, you're mine. And I was like, but when are you gonna, like, are you... Basically, I was just like, are you looking to make it, like, a real thing, like, official? And he said, of course I am. Like, do you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, but how long? You know how we are with girls are impatient. So I was like, how long does it, is it going to take? And he was like, I need a bit of time, but not not very long, you know, a couple of months or whatever. I said, cool, cool. So so just remember, in my head, I'm thinking it's going fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. A couple months in, two and a months in. I'm thinking maybe another month. I'll be this guy's girlfriend. I really liked him. So anyway, now, um, he he then said to me i don't want to make you bait so i'm going to change the state he went to the usa actually let me just leave it there bomber club went to the usa and um he said he was going to meet his brother in the usa and then he said to me and then i said are you still going to um let's just say i'm going to change it to the maldives he said are you, i said are you still going to the maldives with your brother and he said no 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 we've changed it to miami so we're going so they were, he was going to another state in the USA and then they were going to go to Miami. Cool. The one thing this motherfucker didn't do is he didn't, he didn't block me on social media and he should have done because I was going to smile, I was going to spy like a motherfucking bitch and I motherfucking did. I motherfucking did. I wish I had the picture to show you lot. Now, so this guy goes and I am literally having a heart attack because I'm thinking, do you think I'm stupid? You're going to some Maldives with your brother. Rude boy. You're going to some Maldives with your brother. Rude boy. You are going to the Maldives with your brother. With your brother, yeah? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I was really born yesterday? Oh, listen. It's totally lock off. So, anyway. 
he lands on his holiday. Remember, this nigga said he's going to the USA and then he was going where? He was going to Miami. He never fucking went to Miami. All I see on fucking Instagram is him in the motherfucking Bruh. Maldives. He never went to America. It never happened, fam. Bruh. All I see on fucking Instagram is him in the motherfucking Maldives. He never went to America. It never happened, fam. He landed, he was showing his hotel, he's in the Maldives. I said, hey! Hey! But he said, we're going to go on holiday. Me and you, but you're already on holiday. Oh, hell no! So he's on holiday with his brother. Please explain something really, to nigga? me. Please explain something to me. This nigga must have thought I was born yesterday. He's on Bruh. holiday with his brother. Tell me why he never snapped his brother, though. He never snapped his brother. Bruh. It was a solo vacation. You know them ones? A solo vac vacation. So I'm sitting there thinking, this nigga thinks I'm stupid. Anyway, you know how men are. They will lie, 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 lie until the cow cows come home. So you have to look for evidence. So I thought, let me get my evidence, yeah? So what I did, what I did is I downloaded or I video screen recorded the whole story and I slowed it down, real down, real down. So, because I knew, like, he's gonna, he's gonna fuck up. Like, he's gonna, he's gonna do something. So basically, I might see a nail in the corner. I might see this, I might see that. He's gonna fuck up. And you know what he did. So, in one scene, imagine, I've, I've downloaded the thing. I've got it on my phone, yeah, I'm looking. I've slowed it all down. In one scene, I got my my sister there. I got my sister there, she's like a detective, fam. Me and my sister like detectives. Sitting there, we slow the thing down now. And in one bit, I'm watching it with her, and she's like, stop. So I screenshotted it. No, no, I stopped it, and I screenshotted it. And then she goes, zoom in. Zoom in. I zoomed in. Eh. 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 There was a motherfucking bra, bitch. There was a bikini bra in the corner. Oh, hell no! There was a bikini bra, was a bikini bra in the corner. I said, eh! Hey, there's a bikini bra in the corner? Mm, okay. And then there was another scene where he was in a bar drinking in obviously in the Maldives. Shala! One sec. Look at my sister. There was another scene. I want to call my sister up so she can confirm the story, bruv. There was another scene. She's gonna come. She's gonna come. She's gonna come. Yo, yeah. can you come up for, can you please, please come up? That, uh, um, look. Yeah, how I cooked, yeah? That he was on holiday with a girl. Do you remember? Um, now remind me what happened? Um, remember we, he, he went to the Maldives. I've changed a few deals in the story, so he, people don't clock. Mm -hmm. I've, he went to the Maldives and, um, we were watching his story and there was a bra. Aha! Aha! <laughs> on the balcony. Ah, on the balcony! Mm -hmm. But also, please explain. Did he think I was a dickhead? Because... He told me he was going to um, the USA to see his, his brother, hmm. but yet he was in Maldives on a one vacation. Because where was his By brother? Himself. By himself. Hmm. Because where was his brother though? Hmm. He, his brother was in none of the snaps. So hmm. it's your birthday and your brother is there, but your brother, what, your, oh, your bae. You're not bait, fam. Hmm. So why can't you snap your brother? Hmm. You're not your own, your blood brother. What let you snap him? Your, bro your blood brother is too camera shy. Your blood brother is too camera shy? Yeah, I remember that one. What a dickhead. And do you remember there was a voice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> you drinking cocktails yeah, yeah, by yeah. himself. <laughs> and someone was talking to him. I he was drinking cocktails by himself. Mm -hmm. I saw was, uh -huh, but it's his birthday. You cannot, yeah. but this is the thing that makes doesn't make sense. Let's just say you're a loner, cool. That makes sense, you're a loner. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you ha you've gone on holiday by yourself because you ain't got mates. Mm -hmm. 
cool. That makes sense. I'm just on a solo trip for your birthday. Yeah, but then you know me. Hmm. You're seeing me. Hmm. So what's the problem, you boy? Yeah. Why, why didn't he invite me? That's a question. Yeah, so anyway, what do you think of this bomber? I've, I've named him Bomber Club for the story. Yeah, I think that's a fitting name. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Yeah, but what, obviously I'm going to put your voice in it. What do you just think of the how he got, how he tried to... I like the audacity that he thought he was going to get away with that. What do you think of all that, all that situation? Um, I think if you're going to lie, you need to be a better liar. Mm, 100 you need to be more strategic. Yeah. Um, I'm even sure at a different time, we clocked that he was with a girl in a restaurant because wasn't there a nails. purse? There was a, a nails? purse, a nails. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. And you can be a bit smart. But then what is it with that guy? Because he... Is it that all the girls are patting no one could tell him nothing? Because he's messy, bro. He was messy. Mm. Because why did he have the audacity and cheek to think that he could do that? I don't know. Like, did he just think that he would just never get caught? He thought he could get through on a technicality. Because technically, no one was his girlfriend. Yeah. But... But then he's telling me I can't see no one else. Exactly. Yeah. From the get-go as well. Yeah. Very possessive. Yeah. So what's wrong with him? He wants to have his cake and eat it too. Mm -mm -mm. He's one of them guys that just wants to have, what, five wives? Yeah. And he will... Sweeten them all up enough to keep it going until they clock something up that they don't like. Very good with his mouth. Very good with... Wasn't he very generous? Yeah, yeah. and romantic. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a ladies' man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Typical ladies' man. Yeah, so I was just telling them, so obviously, because this is part one, because this is half an hour just to get to this bit, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, Jesus just to get... Christ. I haven't even told them the, the juicy juicy. Oh. You know the... the oh. Yeah, yeah, you lot oh, don't know. Yeah. The, the next bit's even more juicy. But yeah, I was just saying to them, like, so this guy, like, he, like she said, she, she said on, he was having drinks in a, rest, in, a, in, a, in a cocktail bar by himself, and there was someone who said a couple words really low, though, so I think when he watched it back, he didn't clock her voice. But listen, I clocked her voice, and let me tell you something as well, because he's in Maldives, mm -hmm. yeah, um, he, of course he can be around people. He can be around a woman, could be in the corner, a, a, it could be a waitress. But tell me, why does a waitress have a, a UK accent? Mm. The accent was from, the, was from London. Yeah. It was a London accent and it sounded like a black girl. Yeah. Really? We see each other. We see each other. I mean, you know what? I sent him a paragraph. You can go now if you really want to. I send him a paragraph. I might have to ask to come back for part two though. Are you doing part, doing part two today? Yeah, yeah we're going to do part two now. Okay. I'm going to split in half. Okay. But just like for the end bit. Okay. So, um, there. Bye, sister. So, yeah, <laughs> my sister obviously knows what happened. But yeah, I've now clocked that he's on holiday with a girl. I've sent him a message, like, it was on, on Instagram, I sent him the screenshots, I was wilding out, I was like, are you taking me for, are you taking the piss out of me? Like, am I a side chick? Like, I was, I was flipping out. He eventually responded, I basically said, oh, oh shit babe, I'll talk to you when I get back. So I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> okay. And um, when he got back, we argued, we argued, we argued, and then I decided to pull back, and I pulled back for a bit, and then he was like, I miss you, and all of this, and then we had a conversation, he tried to explain where he was coming from, and he basically just said to me, like, he only started seeing me, the holiday was an expensive holiday, like a couple of grand, and he couldn't, he couldn't justify spending that money on someone he just met so he just took like a girl that he'd been seeing on and off for a really long time and how she was more of a friend but he wasn't like in love with her or anything and he really wanted to be with me and i definitely fell for it and i stayed around and let me tell you something it got worse it yo it got worse i need to do a part two because when i tell you it got worse it got worse 
this nigga was a gallist. He's a nice person, but he's definitely a gallist. He has so much freaking females around him. He just lies. He just, he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. He doesn't know who, who to be with. Just bare hoes. Yo, this nigga literally... He, he took a, he took a girl obviously on holiday and then he ended up wifing one girl who um he ended up wifing one girl and whilst me and him was trying to sort things out he ended up wifing another girl yo and it uh. also this is gonna sound peak but there was a time i was at his and a bitch came knocking, looking for him. But I don't want to give that story time away. I'm going to do that in a part two, which is basically going to be straight after this, okay? <laughs> but if you want to watch part two, then you can click it, the link in my bio. What, link in my bio, sorry. If you want to watch part two, just, um, wait till tomorrow, I'll drop part two. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Thank you for listening to my story. <laughs> if you look like trying to guess where he's from, he's definitely Nigerian. <laughs> I was thinking, what's going on here? And um, I went around the house, they, they wasn't there. He, he'd left to, to calm her down, take her home. I don't fucking know. He left me in the house alone. I thought, cool, say no more. Say no more. I know what you've done this to me, fam, innit? You've been doing this to me. You got bare holes. I'm not I'm not here for this shit. So I thought let, let's let's begin. Let's begin. So I went into the kitchen. As you do, I got a knife as you do, do you understand? I got now I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh, pretty 